Hi everyone, this is Love Crafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the monthly spread of April in my mini recollections planner. For this month, I will not be using pink pixel graphics uh, printable because she didn't make one. Actually, she went from March to May and no April. And then I was looking at her old April one um, that she did for last year, but I already did that and I thought, okay, when those things happen, I go on and look for another uh printable somewhere else so um i already know that life with myra i use it for the mini happy planner one and of course i use Plannerology studio for my happy planner so i do have notes where i write down who else makes free monthly printables and another one that i always like to check is vintage glam studio and they actually have one and the printable is this one right here so I did shrink it down. This is for the actual Happy Planner. I shrunk it down and I figured I will try and put this one together and use it for this planner. Of course, um, I have to do a lot of tweaking because um, this is more for the Happy Planner and of course the days of the weeks are in different spots for this planner. But I'll be doing the same thing I usually do when I do my uh, spread for the monthlies in this planner. So continue watching and see how I put this spread together. So I'm going to start off by placing some green washi tape at the top part of the page. Of course I'm doing this upside down because it's easy for me to see um, the exact uh, placement for this. But the reason for this is because since I had to cut out the days of the week, um, I noticed that the sticker that comes with it, like this part you see me placing, is actually smaller in size than the one I use in Pink Pixel Graphics. So I know I was going to have a big gap. Um, I couldn't um, cover the days of the week just the way it was and then I still would have a gap at the top so I figured what I would do better is you know place a sticker at the top place the washi tape and then the days of the week under that that way it looks you know cohesive and it looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then of course I'm gonna continue working with my green washi tape going all around the page and then for the second page I'll do the same thing I'm gonna go ahead and do the green washi tape then the big sticker and then I'll come back and place the days of the week stickers after that Now that I'm done with the washi tape and placement of the top area, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll place my days of the week stickers. And of course, I had to trim them off because they're in different um, places. So as you know, Wednesday has to be trimmed off from another piece. And so I'm gonna place it there, uh, making sure it fits nicely and it doesn't look a little off. From here, I'll do the second page and place the rest of the days of the week. And then I will then put um, some squares for the weekends kind of like the way I like to do it where all the weekends have a different color box So I'll do that next So here I'm placing the weekend boxes and just so you guys know, I did have to trim each and every one of these. Um, they're a bit wide and so I want to make sure that they fit nicely inside the area. Um, I don't mind if they overlap each other a bit as I place them one at a time, but I want to make sure that they fit in the box perfectly. So 
So here's the final look to put and get the monthly spread. I think it came out really nice. I really like this printable. Something different. Um, I was a little off because I am so used to using uh, pink pixel graphics. But I did have to do a lot of the tweaking like I usually do. So that was pretty much the same. Um, I didn't have enough boxes for the weekends. But she did have on her printable uh, half boxes that look like one box. So for instance, this box here and this box here are actual two half boxes kind of close to each other. And I have one left. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if you look at this box right here, it's actually two half boxes because they're two different designs. But they're kind of close together so you really can't tell. So what I ended up doing with those two is I just kept um, the way they were. Just trimmed them um, to make them fit into the boxes and that way all the weekends had something. Now for these white boxes, um, I'm going to go through my stash of stickers. I don't know if I have Easter stickers. Uh, but if I do, I'll put these in there um, and you'll see this um, actual uh, picture with the stickers on it on Instagram. Or if I don't have any, um, since I will be going to the Dollar Tree and Daiso this weekend, I will be looking out for Easter stickers and hopefully I can put some in these spots. But overall though, I really love this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.